So today we are here to talk about our commitment to the people of Washington State. And I want to start off by thanking the good gentleman from the 3rd, the 11th, the 34th, and the good gentle lady from the 43rd. But just as important is the work of the staff who've put countless hours in every single word, the concepts and the numbers in this bill today. You know, over the last few budgets, we've built a very strong safety net and we've prioritized those who have been hurt the most during the pandemic. But this year, we heard from workers, students and families all across this beautiful state. And in this budget, we prioritize their priorities and the needs right now. And the, also to continue the lay, to lay the foundation of the future. We invest in workforce development through educational resources and expansion of childcare because strong workforce helps everyone. We invest in poverty reduction strategies and basic human needs because too many people are still hurting. And even before the pandemic, people relied on these state programs. But due to rising inflation, the high cost of living and low wages, we must step up and continue to to, for these critical investments. And that's why we invest billions of dollars towards housing support, food assistance, wage increases, direct cash assistance, working family tax credit outreach, and other critically important programs to our safety net. That's also why we invest in rebuilding our behavioral health system so that people in crisis, no matter where they are, can get access immediately. And this budget continues our commitment to be a welcoming state. Individuals and families from all across the world are fleeing from danger and terrible conditions. And today we expand access to health care, legal assistance, and victim crime services. You see, we are all connected and we believe that what connects us is what makes us better, stronger, and healthier. I'm voting for this budget today because I believe that the resiliency in, in Washington's communities and this budget invests in them. Please join me in voting yes. Thank you. 